next question is from Gurmeet in India who writes, how can I improve my speed and consistency in my game? Well, Gurmeet, that's a tough question because as you increase your speed on the court, the part that's going to suffer is your consistency. It's much easier to be consistent at a slower level. You can imagine that just like if you're playing back and forth very slowly with your friend, then you're probably not gonna be making very many errors. But as soon as you push the speed in your shots and your movement, that's where it starts to get shaky. So my advice is, it's great that you wanna push your speed because that's what we always wanna be doing. Because if we're gonna be able to match higher level competitors, we have to be able to play faster shots and move more quickly around the court. So good to practice your speed, but then to keep your consistency at a matching level, you need to do a lot of training to keep your shots safe at that new faster speed. And a part of that has to do with something I call keeping your window open. And by that I mean your window of your target. If you increase your target window, then you're going to have a broader margin of error. And that means if you keep a big target, if you miss the target by a little bit, it's still gonna be a safe shot. Whereas if you keep a very narrow window, then if you miss it, then the shot might go out or in the net. So as you increase your speed in both your shots and your footwork, then be aware to increase the window of your target. So that might mean instead of aiming for your smash right down the line, bring it in two, three feet more so that if you aim for here and you miss it on either side, it's still gonna be in. And the beauty of this is that as you start to play faster, your shots are gonna be more effective. So you're probably thinking, well, if I don't aim for the line, and it, it won't be a good shot. Well, that's not true. Because if you play the shot in a fast way and you've moved to the bird quickly, then even if your shot lands over here, it will still be a great shot. In fact, those shots are better than a slow shot with slow pace that might be landing right on the line. And if you watch top level badminton, often you'll see the rallies will end with shots a good two feet or more away from the line. If you build up the rally correctly, the finished shot does not have to hit the line. That's just too high risk for anyone, even Lindan. So I hope this helps. It's great that you're trying to push your speed. Just be aware that as you do, you've got to keep that window wider for your target so that you can match your consistency to your new speed.